This is a rocket stove. I saw this on the internet, or should I say, let's correct this, my friend saw this on the internet, and then he pointed it out to me, and he came over and we built this one. Uh, this is, I believe, 26 bricks, seven layers high. Um, it's already starting up again. The smoke's coming out. I haven't let a match to this. Um, it stays very hot in there, and it's a very good way of cooking. Um, basically, a rocket stove is a very fun way of cooking outdoors. And it's very practical in case your hydro goes out or some uh, um, catastrophe goes on. You hope that doesn't happen, but if it does, this is a nice way of being prepared. Uh, I usually have my, since I built this, I have my tea on this uh, quite often in the morning. And I plan to use this in the fall when I'm raking leaves and I get cold and I just want to boil a pot of water. Um, it takes about 12 to 15 minutes to boil a pot. That's the pot up there, or the little one. The little one's 12 minutes, the other one's 15, give or take. Um, trick is to keep this thing active. It is very hungry and it eats, eats, eats wood. Not big pieces of wood, but just kindling wood. Then you can put tender wood on and then you can go up a little bit higher. But basically, um, this is the air chamber. Uh, some people who build rocket stoves don't have that. They have this a brick going across here. Um, but we found it a little bit more efficient to have um, your wood up here and your air intake here so they're not competing with each other because the whole um, beauty of this is the air. The air comes in here um, and it draws right up here and when it takes off it sounds like a like a rocket taking off and it's like a pretty cool sound. I know kids have come over here and they love listening to that. And actually one of the young lads that comes by and was eating me out of house and home on my marshmallows and hot chocolate, he actually went back and got some bricks and built one himself. And he um, has left me alone now. I have my marshmallows to myself. <laughs> um, but all kidding aside, uh, it was great because it's a great uh, Boy Scout or Cub uh, skill that you can teach kids too. And I went one step further with this. As you will see, you want to catch the wind. And sometimes with bricks, you can't just lift this up. This is about 200 pounds, give or take. Bricks are about 5 pounds, something like a piece. Um, so you want to catch the wind or part of the wind. Um, and if it's coming from the back, from like say the cornfield, right, it's hard to catch the wind. So what I did is I, I put it on a, a Lazy Susan bear, bearing. And if you're going to do it, look for one that is, probably can hold uh, 100 and, 150 kilograms, which is about th over 300 pounds. I wouldn't go any less than that. Um, yeah, and it's basically, um, and basically what I've got, I've got a patio tile on the bottom. I've got two ceramic tiles. I got, sorry, I've got the bearing in between the ceramic tiles and the patio stone. Okay. Um, so I am going to light this up, and once this thing takes off, the wind will disappear. Okay. I mean, the smoke will disappear. And I've made pork chops on this, and many things. It's a very good rocket stove. 
very good way of clean environmental uh, for a clean way of uh, cooking and we'll just look over here there she's burning and a lot of times you don't have much ashes to have because it blows it right out right up the top as you can see the ash coming out it's very little to clean out of this just got to can't walk away from it because it will eat wood like crazy so and all you do is you just push it through just keep pushing it probably be better to use a poker and just keep pushing wood through I've already had this going once today so ouch don't do that kids yes and it won't come back out the hole the entrance it'll the wind, the air will draw the heat and the flames inward that is a rocket stove um, go on YouTube many examples metal uh, steel ones brick ones pizza oven kinds it's a lot of fun bye bye